Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W51B of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. Uh, and this video is going to be a little bit different from uh, some of the videos I've been making uh, recently. And um, that's because I've been revisiting the things in my 1.8 world, the designs that I, I think uh, might break in 1.9. Uh, and I've been coming across a lot of little uh, fun surprises like this here. Um, uh, things that I built a long time ago and have since forgotten about. Um, I, I'm showcasing this one because it uses kind of an unusual mechanic that I don't see very often, uh, so I thought it might be interesting. Um, this is a uh, two-way automatic piston door uh, through which only a player riding a horse can enter. Uh, so I've got a horse over here. Let's test this out. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to ride through this thing. So it, it opens up for a horse, um, but there's no uh, there's no apparent switch or anything for uh, for just even a player down below, uh, and uh, and I don't have to press anything uh, passing through with a horse either. So it's um, it's uh, pretty simple. Um, if you were paying really close attention, you may have gotten an idea how this actually works. <laughs> Let me go back into creative mode here. Um, I've got a couple of pressure plates up here, and what happens as the horse steps up on these uh, half slabs here, uh, the player will actually phase through um, uh, high enough in order to intersect these pressure plates up here. So the uh, uh, player's not going to take damage uh, phasing through these transparent blocks up here. Uh, and the player will phase through high enough to intersect the pressure plates, which activates the redstone wire, which depowers the redstone torches, which will cause the pistons embedded in here to retract, opening the door. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it. It's an extremely simple build. Uh, everything that you would need for the mechanism is in my hotbar here. Uh, so just uh, two blocks on either side of a two block gap uh, with a sticky piston facing inward uh, and a block on the head with two blocks on top. Um, so just like that. Uh, and then a 2 by 3 arrangement of bottom half slabs that fills the gap uh, with a 2 by 3 arrangement of top half slabs um, up on the top. And that leaves a too high space that a player could walk through uh, if, the, uh, if the door was open. Uh, on, uh, up on the top here, on either side, uh, go ahead and place uh, four pressure plates. Um, these do have to be stone or wooden pressure plates. Um, uh, we want two on each side. Uh, a block on either side with a redstone wire uh, going all the way across. And a redstone torch on either side of those blocks. And that is it. That's the whole thing. So um, let's get our horse here. Go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, so uh, a mounted uh, player mounted on a horse can pass through this, uh, but pretty much nothing else. Um, everything else uh, that you might add on this is just facade. Uh, you can fill this in however you want. Uh, just a, a word of warning, if you do place blocks here, these should be transparent. Uh, I'm using stairs over there uh, because otherwise the player is going to take suffocation damage uh, when going, going through the door when the horse steps up on these slabs here. Um, but that's pretty much it for then for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments. And thanks for watching.